The MUBB at home pregame show rolls on here. Joining us now, it is Marquette Hall of Famer Jim McElvain, a comfortable Marquette Hall of Famer Jim McElvain laid back right there. Mac, uh, let's let's start by just catching up, man. I mean, it's been a couple of years since we last heard you sign off on the uh, the radio broadcast with Homer. What the heck you been up to? Uh, I'm enjoying Florida. I'm in a place that doesn't even sound like it exists. It's called Howie in the Hills. Well, college basketball season is certainly a good time of year to be hanging out in Florida, so a smart move by the uh, the Marquette Hall of Famer here. Jim, you had 399 career blocks in your time at Marquette University. Theo John's currently at 170. He's five away from pulling to second behind you. That's got to be the most untouchable record in Marquette basketball history. Can you possibly explain to me and our fans how you blocked that many shots over the course of four years? Um, I, I had great coaches from uh, Bob Letch at St. Catharines, uh, Rick Cobb in the summertime, and Kevin O'Neill. They, they emphasized sound fundamental defensive principles. And then um, I, I had teammates uh, who were comfortable enough with what I did. And it wasn't unique, but it was not common um, that they, they knew defensively when to kind of let go. And um, as you watch Theo John block a lot of shots, it's not like he's blocking the shots of his own man. It's when he's helping on defense where he gets a lot of his blocks. And it was the same thing for me. So if you don't have teammates that are, are willing to trust you and try to funnel uh, an offensive player to you, uh, it's going to be hard to get those blocks. And I, I had great teammates that, that knew their assignments defensively and, and did a great job of directing uh, attacks to an area where I could block shots or at least change them. So Theo, yeah, you mentioned him. Obviously, he's made a huge jump from his junior year to his senior year on, on both ends of the floor. And I think health's obviously a huge part of that for him. He's finally healthy for the first time in a while. How impactful is it uh, to have a dominant big man like that in today's Big East Conference, do you think, from big man to big man from your perspective? Well, I'm excited uh, that Marquette has two young uh, big men in the freshman that get to play with Theo for a year. Because what I found when I was at Marquette was that um, having Amal McCaskill with me, um, it, it, I think it made us both better shot blockers because it was certainly a point of emphasis for me. And and uh, he got quite good at it. And then Amal kind of carried that over with uh, Faisal Abraham. Um, and so hopefully uh, Theo will, will help with Garcia and Justin and, and help those guys be better shot blockers and defenders going forward because they certainly have very polished offensive game for freshmen already. Mac, last one for you. Your favorite Marquette memory as a player and then your favorite Marquette memory as a broadcaster. You uh, you sat there next to Homer for many years and called a lot of great moments from the booth as well. What sticks out? I, I would say as a player, um, probably winning the great Midwest Conference Championship. That was Marquette hadn't had a long history of being in conferences. They were an independent for their entire existence until right before I got there. Um, the Great Midwest Conference was a really a solid conference, really good basketball conference. It's hard to pin down a moment with Homer um, calling the games. There, there was a lot of fun come from behind games um, and fun games in the NCAA tournament. But uh, to watch people commentate on TV and when I'm driving in the car to listen to other commentators, it really gives me a great appreciation for what a talent uh, Homer is on the air and how he just laid up softballs for me for all those years and made it so easy for me to, to be a partner with him and, and add to the broadcast in significant ways. So um, that was a, a pure joy and pleasure for me that I, I miss to this day and I keep in contact with Homer. and. And I hope Tony Smith doesn't take it for granted because he's he's working with one of the absolute best in the biz in the business. Well, you guys created a lot of fun memories and uh, moments of joy for Marquette fans along the way as well. Jim McElvain, thanks for the time, man. We appreciate it. Enjoy the uh, the Florida sunshine down there. I will. It's 73 and sunny today. Hey, send some our way. There you go. That's the Marquette Hall of Famer, Jim McElvain. More next on the MUBB at Home pregame show presented by our friends at Aurora Healthcare.